<clears throat> hey cancer what's up welcome to your weekly zodiac reading i hope that you guys are doing amazing for those you guys that are new here welcome for those you guys that are returning welcome back it is always a pleasure to have you guys here okay all right so let's go ahead and get into this reading and let's see what is the energy for the next seven days for cancer all right holy spirit give me the energy for cancer for the next seven days All right, so you guys are not at peace about something or someone you're dealing with is not at peace. All right, tell me more. Why is this person not at peace or why is the collective not at peace? Open gate, right timing, align with life path. So something about a new opportunity or, or opportunity or something about timing being right. Tell me more. Yeah, coming soon. So it's something that you are expecting or your person is expecting, right? Tell me more about this Holy Spirit. What is this energy for cancer? Yeah, travel. You may be dealing with somebody that live or uh, live or work at a distance from you guys. You may have to actually get on a plane to go see them. More than a five-hour drive I'm hearing for a lot of you guys. Tell me more for cancer. Compromise right so this is someone who you may need to compromise with this person this person feel like they need to compromise with you there's been some type of barrier in between you and this person um water and fire okay something is keeping you guys apart this connection is going to take compromise on both ends fire and water here so cancer scorpio pisces aries leo sagittarius tell me more holy spirit about this connection for cancer forgiveness mm. y'all had to let it be with this person all right y'all this is something that's going to require some type of forgiveness spring um is here so april through may this person they could have a spring birthday you or this person but somebody's been in denial uh or avoiding some type of truth tell me more holy spirit Avoiding speaking some type of truth. This person wants some forgiveness. All right. Yeah, pregnancy. So baby bump coming soon. Somebody may have had a, um, a baby by a karmic partner or a new beginning with the karmic energy here. Yeah, unexpected. Yep, somebody, something happened unexpectedly. This And this person needs some forgiveness. They want you to forgive them. This person may pop up on you guys too. Like there's going to be some type of surprise. And I'm getting this. If if you were dealing with somebody that was, they ran off with some with some karmic energy, some karmic feminine. Um, this person got unexpected news of a pregnancy. And this is weighing this person down. And that's just for you guys who you you know or you saw it in the in the 5D about a pregnancy, right? This person is pretending to be happy without you guys, and it's starting to make this person look older. Like how unhappy they are without you, it's starting to make them look older. Yeah, look happiness. Yeah, yeah. You brought this person so much joy, so much happiness. This person feel like you are there happily ever after. But they started some type of new beginning elsewhere. That was definitely a new beginning. Something unexpected. Yeah, look, cleanse. Y'all feel like you have to cleanse this person out of your energy. And this person, if they're going to have to clean their life up in order to come and be with you. Yeah, worth the wait and many options. Choosing, choosing one out of many. So this person had a lot of options. They did. One of these options could have got pregnant. I'm going to be real with you, all right? Um, but that don't mean that they want that person. That that means that this person was just, just being reckless. This person was just being reckless. And when you be reckless, stuff like that happened. So this person is feeling like you are worth the wait. Like, or they want you to know that they're worth the wait. 
y'all feel like this person is just playing out toxic like they're a toxic soulmate you know this person brought up insecurities in you that you did not know that you had you know they brought up things in you that that you guys needed to heal and i feel like a lot of you guys you feel as though you learned some type of valuable lesson from this person and the lesson was about unconditional love unconditional love for yourself you had to learn to love yourself unconditionally like no matter what no matter what a person brought to the table or, or took away from the table brought in your life or out of your life you guys had to learn to love yourself and stop allowing other people to um, cause inner conflict. Cause conflict within you. With their BS. Alright. This person could be jealous of you guys. Tell me more Holy Spirit. Like, yeah, escapism. This person is overindulging in alcohol, trying to distract themselves. They're overindulging in um in sex. I'm hearing this is something they, they need to yep, lust. This person is needing they're wanting to cut out or they have cut out casual sex partners, but they have replaced that energy with like alcohol. This person is trying to avoid thinking about you, thinking about what they need to make right. Yeah, the other. They're cutting out other partners, other people that's been getting in the way. They're dropping some type of ego. These are things this person could be working on. Yeah, because they're not happy. Happiness in reverse. This, this person is not happy, you know? And look, self-love in reverse. They lack self-love. So I feel like this is mirroring energy here. You guys mirrored similar um, trauma. Things, you guys mirror things that... <laughs> Mutually needed to be healed, you know. You guys are, are learning to love yourself. This person is learning to love themselves. Wow, this person has been in inner conflict because they want to offer you some type of commitment now. They don't feel like you're gonna you're gonna accept them. Yeah, this person is longing for you. It says, I'm longing for the other half that I've have lost. Love story. A true love story never ends. Let's start a new chapter. This person want to start over. They want to start over. I feel like the spirits have been communicating with this person. Talking to them about you. They're receiving messages through spirit about you guys. Yeah, they're, this person is lonely. They are lonely. And they want a reconciliation with you guys. But they don't feel like you're going to have them. Because they left you. They kept you waiting for too long. It was a constant waiting game. A lot of you guys had started to lose faith. On whether or not this was even divinely God. And, or not. If this is your person or not. You know. Y'all feel like this person wasn't doing the shadow work. Doing the separation. And that they have yet to break themselves free. Liberate themselves. You know. From karmic situations. But they have. This person has been moving secretly. Cutting out karmic ties, cutting off addictions, cutting off karmic partners, right? Have they been drinking a little more? Yes. But this person has stopped having these casual encounters with these karmic energies. And if they had a scare with the pregnancy, that did it for this person, all right? This person knows that this new beginning is going to be tough because, you know, this person hasn't really given you anything to believe in. But you see how he's standing on her dress tail? This person is on your tail. New perspective. I'm seeing us with new eyes. It's all so clear. Now, yeah, this person is not going to let you get away. Your back, you don't see this person standing there because your back is turned from them, right? You're not focused on this person anymore, but this person is on your tail, all right? Yeah. Holding on. It hurts to let go, but sometimes it hurts more to hold on. And this is the space y'all have been in. You know, it you love them. You feel like you feel like it was a beautiful connection. You know. But you felt as though it hurt, it hurt it more to hold on to this person, no matter how beautiful you felt like the connection was. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> I've been swept off my feet, random, unexpected, and amazing. This person was not expecting to fall in love with you guys, Cancer, at all. They wasn't expecting this. This caught them off guard. Yeah. I'm strategizing to win. I won't miss my target. Oh, this person, they have their, their eyes, their sights set on you guys, all right? And this person is ready to come through and balance the scales with you. They want a new beginning. 
they want a new beginning with you. And if this is a new person, it's like one of y'all or both of y'all have some ways about yourself that you're willing to cut off with this person. Like you're willing to not operate in that energy so that you can be with this person or vice versa, you know? I feel like this has the potential to be a beautiful connection between you guys. All right, give me one more for cancer. Thank you. So earth and um, air. So you could be an air sign or you could have air in your chart. This person could have earth in their chart. You know, but this is really something coming to an end um, so that there could be a new beginning, I feel, after some time of grief, after some time of sorrow, after some time of being apart. Yeah, y'all have a soul contract with this person. There's a soul contract here and you, bo you both are dreaming of each other. So I feel like the energy is mutual. You know, both you guys are longing to be in each other's presence. So, all right, Cancer, I hope you guys enjoyed this reading. Love and light. Peace.